Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Real Room Show. And I got something that's pretty unique that one of my subscribers sent me after watching one of my shows. It was the show number 1723 about a little kit that you would put in your car for emergency communications on the CB band. And I didn't have any documentation. I got it at the flea market or something. And it didn't work, but it was very unique. So I wanted to show it off. So you can go back and watch that video. And anyway, Joe sent me this packet of stuff that normally comes with it that I didn't have. I didn't have any documentation at all. So we're going to take a quick look at this, see what's in here. Okay, so there is the user and care guide. There's the little unit there. It's a little handheld unit. It looks kind of like a walkie-talkie. There's the uh, magnetic mount antenna. And it plugged in, it plugged into your cigarette lighter. And it came in this nice little box. And it was a 40 channel CB radio. And it shows you how to mount the antenna. Put it in the center of your hood on your car, not over in one corner, so it can get the full ground plane effect. And uh, tells you a little bit about CB radio. Straight talk about CB. And tells you how to replace the fuse in the uh, cigarette lighter uh, doohickey where you get power. A little troubleshooting guide. Oh, there's the pieces. There's a handheld unit with a digital display of the frequencies. And um, radio bottom. Oh, okay. This, this shows you at the bottom of the radio. You plug in this AC adapter. I don't know if it had, I don't think it had batteries. I think you had to have 12 volts. And then there's the antenna, operating instructions, well, about everything you needed. And this is like pristine condition. So that's that. And this is Plain English Rules Citizen Band Radio Service. Tells you how to, back then you had to apply for a license. Tells you what you had to do. Who's uh, eligible for a license. I don't know if, I don't think there was any cost involved. And that's all you had to do. You just had to apply for the license to get the license. Technically, a lot of people didn't bother with that. Bit. A lot of questions and answers here. Frequencies. Right, here's a table of frequencies in the 27 point megahertz range. And then here's a bunch of questions and answers. Like, um, do I need a license? Yeah, you need a license. Back then, you needed a license. Now, I don't think you need a license now. I think you just get the radio and go on the air. Here is, and this was a GE device. Here is the owner registration card, which was never sent in. Okay. And here we have uh, a little detail about the antenna. It's a little telescopic mag mount antenna. Here we have, oh, this is the application itself for the license. I can't remember my call sign for CB radio, but I remember my handle it was Midnight Monitor, because the only time I got a chance to get on the CB is after work and usually late at night. Okay, some more data where you can get authorized service from GE back then. 
Again, this was quite a long time ago. This is uh, an order form for accessories. What kind of accessories could you get? You could get a battery pack. Right there is a battery pack. Uh, antenna adapter. Different antennas. Replacement parts. A regulated DC power supply. A mic holder. And you, this was in Charlotte, North Carolina. And finally, this is another application for your license. Application for station license in CBRRC service. Now, how is that different from this one over here? I'm not sure. This is just a half a page. Oh, this is, I think, something that you fill out, you make up a temporary call sign, and you post this that um, you're on the air and you have applied for your license, and you sign this. And so this is uh, what you put in your shack temporarily, and then you send this in, and then eventually they will send you a license, which I did way back from when I had actually a CB station. All righty. I want to thank Joe for sending me this stuff. Pretty cool. Again, I don't think you have to have a license anymore. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think you just get on the air. I'm not sure exactly how it works now but uh, that's about it oh one other thing i checked my amazon store this morning to see how things were going and i i was overwhelmed at all the purchases and i would say 60 percent were not radio related which means people would take my link which is in the the description below each video go to my Amazon store and then maybe look around and didn't see anything they wanted but while they were there they bought something else like I'm trying to remember some of the things that were bought I don't remember um, like some I remember some tea tea was bought and I got a small commission because they went through my link so I appreciate that um, we're thinking about um, getting one of those X data is it XD data what's it, what's the name of that radio but there's a radio that's been out for a while and I've been hesitant to get it. it's been reviewed by a lot of other youtubers and it seems like it's a pretty good radio um, but it's very similar to other radios so I kind of been hesitant so I, now that I've got a little bit of commission built up from my Amazon store, I'm thinking about getting that. And I'm trying to remember, I think it's like an R-108 AM, FM, shortwave radio. I think it even has single sideband. Uh, just bear with me for a second. I'm going to look it up because I'm probably making a mistake here. I'm using my old, old computer because it it's using Windows 7, but it's a little slow, so bear with me. You could, uh, you could, you could stop watching if you're not interested in what that is. Let me go to Amazon. And, okay. I don't remember if I can remember my password. No, I don't remember my password. So just go to Amazon. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't want to do sign in. I don't remember my password. And I guess I haven't saved it on this computer down here. Okay. There it is. That's interesting. It was asking me for my password to sign in. And when I said, ah, forget that, it signed me in. <laughs> Great. 
Yeah, here it is. I just looked at it this morning, and it's the R-A-D-I Wow. That's one name. There's other names to it. Uh, R-108. I was right. R-108. It's on sale. It's five dollars and fifty cents off right now which is eleven percent off for prime members and it's forty six dollars so i'm thinking about that and uh, give me some feedback do you want me to review that like i say a number of other people have reviewed it so mine would just be one more review let me know if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up and have a great day bye-bye